now we are going to see area of a square this is the topic name area of a square so you know that a square means it has four sides four sides are equal that you wrote very well already we have seen in the perimeter of the square we have seen the properties of square now a square is a special rectangle with the equal length and breadth see equal length and equal breadth that is four sides are equal that is called as two lengths and two breadths generally it's there so both all the sides are equal so that is what the length is also equal breadth is also equal so equal length and equal breadth it is a square is a special rectangle it is also four sides and it uh, looks like a, that is square means all the sides are equal it is also similar to the special rectangle that is what they said so area of the square what is the formula side into side so we have to multiply side square or side into side this is the formula that means side means s into h length of the side into length of the side that is what the length of the side means one is a length other one is a breadth that's what uh, what uh, side into side area of a square is equal to side into side otherwise side square now we are going to do the problems if you do the problem you can clarify um, and you can clarify all your doubts and you are so thorough in the concept so before we are going to solve the problem let's look at this diagram see look at this uh, diagram it is a see it's a square 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 so see how many rows three rows 1 2 3 rows 1 2 3 rows so all together three rows and three columns so and how many columns one two three columns so three rows and three columns horizontal lines it is called as always rows and vertical horizontal means this horizontal this is a horizontal and vertical this is so horizontal lines is called as called as horizontal line is called as rows and vertical line it is called as we can call it as column so that is three columns so that is one two three columns and one two three so this is what three into three so see look at this you should not um, what three rows and three columns that is what so one two three you have to count only the what boxes you have to count only the boxes so one two three box this is a row one two three it's a column so this is what so row means i told you horizontal line horizontal line it is called as row and vertical line it is called as column this is a horizontal line this is a vertical line okay so horizontal line it is always called as a row and vertical line it is always column so you have to count only the box so one two three so one two three so this is the column and this is a row that is what three into three that is called as the value is value for the square is nine centimeters square okay i am i am giving the unit of uh, 3 cm so um, finally i have i have written area of the square means 3 into 3 that is 9 cm square or 9 square dot cm that you can write now we are going to solve the problem side is equal to 3 cm that is what i have given so area is equal to side into side or a means a represent area otherwise you can write by area okay for the first sum i have written so a uh, side s is equal to a uh, side is equal to 3 cm so area is equal to s into s that means 3 into 3 you can get 9 cm square or square dot centimeter this is the right answer for the first question next question side is equal to uh, s is equal to what you are given s is equal to 8 centimeter now you have to find out the area that is what is the area of the square area of the square is equal to you have to write area of a square this is the formula area of a square is equal to a is equal to s into s that is side into side so side is given what 8 so 8 into 8 so area means what you can get 8 into 8 64 centimeter square uh, square dot centimeter this is the right answer now we are going to solve the third problem third problem that means here again area of a square area of a square area of a square is equal to a that is s into s side is equal to 10 centimeter so you have to find out a that is s into s so 10 into 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter so you can get 100 centimeter squared that is area is equal to 100 centimeter squared or 
square dot centimeter. So this is the right answer for the third question. Now we are going to solve the fourth problem. Fourth problem. Fourth problem again area of a fourth problem area of a square that means a is equal to side into side. So s is equal to in this place decimal 7.2 centimeter or else meter whatever the unit is given in the question in the book you have to write as it is. So here 7.2 centimeter. So area means what is the formula side into side that is 7.2 into 7.2. So area is equal to you have to multiply here 7.2 into 7.2. 2 2s are 4, 7 2s are 14. Again 7 2s are 14 carry over is go to the top 7 7s are 49, 49 1 50. 50. 2 2s are 4 then 7 2s are 14 after that you leave this line after so after this you leave this digit so put 0 in this place and 7 2s are 14 4 carry over is 1 7 7s are 49 49 1 50 so now you have to write 4 plus 0 4 4 plus 4 8 1 plus 0 1 51 so how many points 1 point 2 point how many decimal point 2 decimal point so you have to move from the 51 point here yeah, one two digits so 51.84 from the right you have to put two decimal point move towards to the what left 51 point 51.84 centimeter square or square dot centimeter so you have to move from the right that means towards to the left Okay, move always move towards the right. You can say move towards the right means this side is goes, but move towards the left is correct. From the right only you can put the point. 51.84 that means centimeter square r square dot centimeter. This is the right answer for the question.